Hello techies In our previous tutorial we have learned about different subscription plans such as per user plan and per flow plan Subscription plans are also called as prepaid plans Let's start with subscription plans which is best for the business that we want to predict licensing with per user or per flow plans If you see over here I am having the basic plan for per user plan which will starts with $15 per user per month Under this plan individual user can create and run an unlimited number of flows with full capabilities of power automate including standard connectors premium connectors business process flows custom connectors on premises gateways based on the unique needs for monthly fixed cost for each user all right there is another plan we have per user plan with attended rpa it will cost 40 us dollars per user per month under this plan individual user can get same capabilities as the base user plan plus the ability to automate legacy and modern applications which allows makers to create unlimited flows for api based automation and automate legacy applications with desktop flows through rpa that is robotic process automation and ai artificial intelligence this plan includes all power automate per user plan capabilities and ability for users to run and unattended rpa bot on their workstation additionally if you see this plan includes access for the ai builder capability and also we have the supporting scenarios like form processing object detection prediction text classification and recognition this plan can be purchased for monthly fixed cost for each user that is 40 us dollars per user per month these two plans are based on the licensing all right there is another plan that we have that is power automate per flow plan that is if you see over here i am having per flow plan under 100 dollars with this plan organization can implement flows with reserved capacity that serve a team a department or an entire organization without having to license each user separately This plan starts with a fixed monthly cost for 5 active flows. There are monthly fee for the each additional active flow beyond the 5 flows that are included in the base fee. Now, what's new in this pay as you go? In mid July 2022, Microsoft released a best flexibility to pay for the business that is pay as you go plans. Pay as you go plans is a new way to pay for power apps and power automate using an Azure subscription which allows you to get started building and sharing apps without any license commitment or upfront purchasing. Pay as you go allows you to share power automate flows with any user in your organization and then only pay if and when they are used. The pay as you go plan includes Microsoft Data Warehouse storage capacity and provides the flexibility to pay for additional storage as you need. This plan reduces the overhead of license procurement and lets you manage and split cost across business units by leveraging the cost management reporting capabilities of Azure subscriptions. There you can see I'm having license by flow run. This will comes under 60 cents per flow that is will be on pay for each cloud flow per run so let us assume if you are going to run a power automate cloud flow then for each and every run you have to pay 60 cents there you can see i am having cloud flows that is document process automation dpa and the same 60 cents is applicable for license by flow run that is also for attended mode for the desktop flows so over here you can see i have to run the desktop flows in that case 60 cents has to be paid for per flow run all right now if you say i am having another plan which is 3 dollars in that case we have to run the desktop flows for the unattended mode in that case you are going to use 
this you have to pay three dollars all right these are the new plans which we have under pay as you go plans now i will show you how power automate meter works when you choose pay as you go plan usage of the power automate serves is built to your azure subscriptions using azure meters the power automate enables user to build or run premium power automate flows and to pay their usage based on the number of times these flows runs instead of purchasing standalone power automate licenses let us assume a flow can run in the cloud or on the desktop with a user that is attended or and desktop without interaction that is unattended mode so if you see over here if i'm having month month one in that case if i'm going to use cloud flows that has to be running on 60 cents and i'm having two flows in that case two into 60 cents that i'm going to pay it, that is 1.2 dollars for the first month in the second month i'm having cloud flow as well as attended flow in that case i'm going to charge 60 cents for each one and i'm having one more unattended flow which will be running on three dollars so in that case if you see over here for the two for cloud flow and attended flow i'm going to charge 60 cents that i'm two into 60 cents and after that i'm having one more unattended flow that is three dollars so that i have to pay for the second month as 4.2 dollars in the third month i'm having only cloud flows that will be running for 60 cents so in that case in the third month i have to pay 60 cents only in the third month now if we observe over here i don't need any licenses for this one which i need to pay as a subscription plans all right so whenever i am going to run this cloud flows i have to pay 60 cents for the cloud and attended flows if i'm going to run attended unattended flows in that case i'm going to pay three dollars based on the pay as you go plans now you may ask one question right so if i'm going to run and uh, test it for the testing purpose at that time you have to pay it or not to make it easy to test and fix your flows where they are not going to be charged anything so no charges will be incurred if you are going to test your flow in the designer or resubmitting failed runs additionally if you use child flow features for the cloud flows or attended flows there will be only single charge for the parent flow run no charges will be incurred in the child flow runs for unattended flow also both parent and child flows will be charged all right now we'll see how to choose the right subscription to save the cost prepaid flows and pay as you go flows can coexist in the same environment as pay as you go plan complements prepaid subscriptions admin can understand the usage patterns using power automate admin center reports and move users to prepay licenses for op optimal pricing over here pay as you go is optional for seasonal flows or flows with less runs but more users now if you see i'm having a lot of scenarios over here in my first scenario i'm going to use claim flows in that case i'm having 100 runs in the first month and month two i'm having 25 flow runs and month three i'm having 20 runs in that case if i'm going to charge it in these three months i'm going to charging per user plan right so in that case if i'm going to take it per user plan i have to pay the licensing cost for 45 dollars right now if i'm going to use pay as you go plan now the total number of runs is 145 and each run over here i'm going to pay it as 60 cents and then finally i have to calculating for three months i have to pay 87 dollars in this case if you observe per user plan that i'm going to get it 45 dollars but if i'm going to calculate based on the runs then i have to pay 87 dollars in this case we will recommend to use power automate user license but coming to the second scenario where a employee health check if i'm going to take it 10 users are running the flow for an example employee health check in that case i'm having the number of flows are the same first month i'm going to 100 runs second month i'm going to take it 25 runs 
and third month I'm having 20 runs. In this case, if I'm going to use prepaid licenses, if you calculate three months, 10 users into $15, I will get it as $450. But based on the pay as you go plan, if I'm going to calculate the number of based on the number of runs, I will get 145 runs into 60 cents, I will get $87. If you compare these two things, if I'm having per user plan, right, I have to pay $450. But if you go for pay as you go plan, then you have to pay $87. In this case, we will recommend pay as you go plan. Now, I'm going to give you another one that is customer support, right? This is the another third scenario over here where you are going to use attended RPS also, right? So I'm having the same 10 users. Now I'm going to take 100 runs, 25 runs, and 20 runs. This is common for all the three months, which we have seen. Now, if you come to the three months for the 10 users, I have to pay 40 into 40 per user because of I'm going to use unattended RPA. Now the charges will be 40 per user, $40 per user. In that case, the total amount for the attended RPA is $1,200. But if you calculate pay as you go, in that case, I have to pay $87. Now, if you compare these two things, which one is the best? We'll go for the pay as you go as the best recommendation, right? Now, we'll have another scenario where it will come as the unattended RPA and you are having two concurrent runs. So in that case, one of the best example is supply chain management. There you can see I'm having 100 runs for the first month, second run having second month having 25 runs, third month having 20 flow runs. Now for these three months, I'm having $40 per user with attended RPA plus two bots with the 150 per unattended add-on. This will come at the two concurrent runs so that $150 I have to pay it as a unattended add-on, right? The total cost will be $1,020 for these three months, right? Now, if I'm going to calculate the same way, 145 into $3 per run, in that case, I'm going to get it as $435 US dollars. Then which one is the best? So I'm going to cost cutting, I'm going to reduce the cost of the usage, then in that case, I will go for pay as you go plan. So we are going to recommend pay as you go plan, right? Now I'm having another scenario where seasonal flows, like an example of HR department, one user is running the flow, right? If you see in month one, I don't have any runs. Month two also, I don't have any runs. And month three, I have 40 runs. In that case, if I'm going to use per user plan, then I have to pay for these three months, I have to pay $45 per user plan license. But if you go for pay as you go licensing, 40 runs into 60 cents, I have to pay $24 only. In that case, if you observe, even for the seasonal also, we'll recommend pay as you go. All right, now we have one more scenario where organization flow runs under service account service principle is running, that is employee onboarding. Now, if you see in the first month, I'm having 100 runs, 100 uh, flow runs, another one, 25 flow runs in the second month and 20 flow runs in the month three. Now, if I'm going to calculate these flow runs, so there you can see I have to pay 100 per flows, right? $100 per flows. In that case, I have to pay for these three months, I have to pay $300. But whereas if you go for pay as you go, it will be $87 for the entire three months or the quarter. Now, in this case, we'll recommend pay as you go. I hope this will be very clear when to use pay as you go as well as prepaid license or subscription license based on these scenarios. Now, when you link this pay as you go plan to your environment to an Azure subscription, all of these meters are automatically enabled for the environment. So any usage of the Power Automate or Power Platform services, then you will be built accordingly. I hope you understand different subscription plans as well as different Power As You Go plans as part of this tutorial. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.